remarkable collection of luxury cars raised from the dead in a remote town west of Paris. Ferrari, Delahaye, Maserati, all in need of a lot of TLC. One of the greatest discoveries in recent automobile history began with a phone call from the granddaughter of French businessman and car collector Roger Bayon. And first we, we discovered with her the California and after the lunch she told me but actually around the castle there are other cars in, a, in some warehouse uh, all spread or in the, in the gardens of the, of the castle and it, we start uh, to discover cars and cars and cars. 60 in all, these valuable beauties hadn't moved in decades, mostly unprotected from the elements, some with cracked windows. In life, Bayon had dreamed of opening a museum of pre-war vehicles, but he ran out of money and then fell ill. He left the cars to his son, but he passed away last year. Bayon's granddaughter made the call to get an appraisal, unaware of the gold mine they were about to dust off. We were climbing on the cars to discover other cars and, and actually very interesting uh, coachwork, very interesting models. So for us it was a, a fantastic day and they, uh, they haven't heard about Saucic or our big uh, French carrossier from the period. So we explained to, 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 to the lady what was in the garage, what, what, which cars were standing and the importance, the history uh, of these cars was fantastic. All of the automobiles now on display at Paris's Porte de Versailles Exhibition Centre, part of the 2015 Retromobile Expo, and they're expected to sell for millions. The, the world collection is estimated between 12 million and 15 million euros, but we hope to reach maybe over uh, 20 million would be good because really it's, uh, it's once in a lifetime opportunity to buy restorable cars from the 40s and 50s. The Bayon collection goes on sale this Friday. Bring your pocketbook, your dreams and a chamois.